Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at how to check your transmission fluid if you drive an automatic vehicle. If you drive stick shift, nobody cares. So automatic transmission, the way to check that, you need to be in the car to start with and you need to have the car running. Now in an ideal world, in order to check your transmission oil properly, your transmission, your transmission fluid properly, you need to have taken the car out, had it for a decent run and go it up to temperature. So once it's up to temperature, which this one is, all you do, park the car up somewhere in your shop, in your driveway, somewhere like that, foot firmly on the foot brake, take the gear lever and move the gear lever through all of the gear positions, all the way, all the shift positions for about 20 or 30 seconds. What that does, if the fluid hasn't worked its way around the entire transmission and filled the torque converter, what that does by going into all the gears individually, it helps pump all the fluid into all the crevices and the cracks and those itty bitty little holes inside the transmission where it needs to be to get a correct check when you're checking the level. So we're currently sitting in park because the car's idling, you need to have the car running for this and it needs to be hot. So all you do, out of park, into reverse, leave it in reverse for just a few seconds, doesn't need to be in there for very long, and then out of reverse into neutral, and then from neutral you're going down into drive. Now on this particular car, depending on the type of transmission you have, on this particular car we go from drive down to third, and then from third into second, and from second into first. Give that a couple of seconds there to work its way through, and do the same in reverse, back up the shift pattern. So we're in first, we're going to go into second, a few seconds in second, and then you want to go back into third, go back into drive, then up into neutral, into reverse, and finally up into park. Now that's the car in park. Now, Brilliant. The way it works at the moment, with that being in park, the minute I take my foot off the car, it will start to roll back a little bit because I don't have the handbrake on or the parking brake if you're in USA or Canada. So if I just ease my foot off the brake, we'll just roll a little bit. There we are. So that's it back locked in park again. You notice the engine's still on idle, I've still left it idling. So you need to pop around the front of the car, open your bonnet or your hood, you want a bit of tissue paper. Find the gear stick, find the, um, the dipstick that is for the, gear, uh, for the gearbox or the transmission which is this one in this box and this car goes straight down there to the gearbox. Release the pressure on that one, pull that out, get the tissue around it with a bit white as it comes out. Have a look at it and we can see that that one is actually a little bit low. And then, oh no it's not, no it's not, there we are, there's the full level. That's actually exactly where it should be. And of course, one way to check it, because you want to make sure it's supposed to be cherry red, which this is. I'll take that out of here. That's supposed to be cherry red. As you can see, that's cherry red. Now, if it was darker than that, and it smelt, that smells perfect. Yep, that's absolutely fine. What you don't want is for it to be dark brown or black, which is even worse. You don't want it to be smelling burnt, and you certainly don't want it to be tasting burnt. But that tastes absolutely fine, to be fair. We'll just slide that back in there again. Now the reason we're doing this today, the owner of this car, well, this car is a 1994 flavour. And the owner of the car doesn't know all that much about cars, but she wants to learn. So I'm giving her a hand with this car, starting with teaching her the basics, so she knows exactly what she's doing and she knows what things are. So hopefully you learned something on that one, and uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Double Zero Garage. Bye for now.